Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio. So today I am going to start the process of my next journal, which I decided on a B theme, B, B-E-E. -E. So um, I've already gotten my cover picked out from a book and I've already gutted it and I've removed um, all the book pages. And I realized that the spine is wiggly, so it's not that um, sturdy, you can see that. So I've taken a couple of pieces of this, oh, it's a file type thing, but it's really quite thick cardboard, like chipboard. I got that at a, a thrift store and I've been cutting it up for spines and different things, so it comes in handy. So I've put two pieces of that together. I've glued that together with Fabrifix, which is good for um, lots of different things. It, it glues very strong and very quick, so that's the one I chose to use, and it's really smelly, but it works really well. So now I'm gonna glue this piece, which is two pieces glued together. I'm gonna glue that in here. If I can get enough out, I'm almost out of this. So you just lather up this area good because you want it to be strong. It's going to hold all your signatures once you completed your book. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. Set it in here, just like that. Pushing it down to make sure to get, make sure the glue can get spread out good underneath there. I guess they say this glue is like, um, a hot glue gun it's just cold and liquid but it glues quickly and securely like a glue gun would okay so that will dry really fast and make sure I can close and open my book and I can so next step is um, I've chosen a fabric for this theme and make sure that's gonna work. Six up a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just move it while I still have the opportunity. Let's check it again. That's better. Okay, so I've chosen um, a fabric that I think will go well with the theme, and that is little teeny bees. You can see them. See them? Aren't they cute? All right, so we're gonna use this piece of fabric. And I've already cut it to a size that I think will work for the book. It might be a little big, but that's okay. We're gonna fold it in like this with Mod Podge, Mod Podge. And then after that, I'll pick some kind of uh, a color of uh, probably paper I'll put on each side and then a piece of fabric in the middle okay so let's get started I have the Mod Podge ready I'm just gonna coat the front of this book just like that Actually, I'm gonna turn this over like this and coat it all really well. So I can just flip it over onto the fabric. I wanna get it in those cracks really well so that the fabric sticks down in those cracks. Okay, 
So let's flip that over. Find a spot here. Right about there. Push it down. Okay, let's flip it over. See where we're at here. And again, I'm gonna rub really good in those cracks. Push out all the bubbles. And it's okay if you can see some of that coming through or you can see the, the back of the spine because we can put something over that if it still shows through when we're done. Now I spread some more on the top. saturate it good. You can't really get, I don't know, I guess you could get too much, but I like it to get really, make sure I get all of it wet so that it dries the same. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it back over. Oop, I had to get my dirty mat here. Gotta glue things on. And we'll take some more. Oops, I don't need it in there. What am I doing? Only need it on the edges. I love Mod Podge. It is fun to work with, uh, works well on so many different things. Mm, people used to decoupage things, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, but really Mod Podge is, I don't know, making a comeback because you really can use it for so many things. So we're going to start, uh, where's my scissors, we're going to cut corner because when we bring this in we want this to make a nice corner over here probably could have even cut it closer than that then you just kind of I don't know slap it down bring this really tight as tight as you can and then slap it with some Mod Podge. Oop. Yeah. I'm a messy crafter. I don't know if you can still see this. I'll bring it up for you. Okay, so let's slap some more of this on here. Let's go up with that. Bring that in tight. And bring this over tight. You can move it around for a little bit before it gets dry. It's stuck to my paper. There we go. Okay. Now we gotta cut these two corners. So I should have done that before I started. But hey, just go on the fly. Okay, more Mod Podge. Under and over. I 
Lay it down. Slap some more on there. Get that all saturated so that you can manipulate it a little bit better. I always like playing with paste in school. You know that paste and you had that stick thing? I, I mean, I remember that as a kid, but I'm older, so. And it smelled funny, but I liked gluing. That was, that was one of my favorite things. So this, using Mod Podge on stuff like this is fun to me, enjoyable, relaxing. Now, everything looks good, smooth, except for right there. Oop. There we go. Oop, I keep making a mess, don't I? There. Okay, now let's see if I can turn this over. It's stuck to my gluing paper. Alright. Let's make sure. Good. Look, we need a little bit more in there, don't we? We just slosh some more in there. Just slosh it up. It's okay. So we're gonna have paper covering this and this, and then we'll come through with another strip of the B fabric. Well, either before or after the paper. We can probably do it before, but I don't have a strip cut, and my hands are all messy. So again, let's check. Yeah, you can see, you can see that. I don't know if you'll still be able to see it. After it dries, it's really getting it in the corners. There, so that's our, that's our book cover. So um, after it dries, We'll go on to the next step. Thanks for watching.